Hello children, how are you all? Yes children, as you all know that we have completed lesson number one and I know my children were eagerly waiting that when my teacher will send a new video, when she will start lesson number two, right? Yes, so children, today we are going to start a new lesson that is lesson number two, plants and animals differ. So before I start, let me ask you a few questions like uh, what is the difference between plants and animals? Have you ever seen a plant? Yes, we have seen a plant. Have you ever seen animals? Yes, we do have seen animals. So, what are the different things that you locate when you see between a plant as well as animals? So, do the plants scream? No, plants will not scream. So, do animals scream? Yes, animals will scream. So, do the plants move? No, plants will not move from one place to any another place. So, do the animals move? Yes, animals will move from one place to any another place. Plants will not move by their own. Yes, we can see that with the help of air, with the help of wind or with the help of water or with the help of animals, they may take the part of a plant from one place to another place. But by their own, plants will not move. Yes, by their own, animals will move from one place to another place. So do the plants sit or stand? No. Plants will not sit nor they stand. So do the animals sit or stand? Yes, animals will sit and animals will stand. So have you ever seen plants eating? No, but they do eat. They prepare their own food and they will eat. So have you ever seen animals eating? Yes, animals will eat other animals and few animals will eat plants also. So these are the few differences by which we can easily differentiate between the animal and a plant right so in this lesson we will learn about the difference between plants and animals like their movement their food their behavior what are the different things we will see in this lesson let us discuss so everyone take out page number 90 that is lesson number two plant and animals differ okay so here we go Plants and animals have all the common features of living things, but they differ in many ways. Yes, they all are living things. Plant is also a living thing. Animal is also a living thing. But few things are there by which they differ. They differentiate in the movements, in the way of living, in the talking, like in the screaming or in the eating food. Everything differs between plant and animals. So first we will discuss about the movements. The roots of a plant are fixed to the ground. Other parts of a plant show movement, but plants cannot leave their place on their own. So when we discuss about plants, plants roots are fixed under the ground. Okay, it is very hard for them to easily come out and even for the human beings also it is very hard to plug the whole plant which has been attached, which whose roots are been attached to the ground. So plants roots are fixed to the ground, other parts are towards upsides. Okay, it is to uh, show the movement, but plants cannot leave their place on their own. They will show the movements like the growing and when the high wind is there, so the plants will like, the leaves will move. Okay, they, these are the movements, not moving from one place to another place, but these are just the movements. Okay, so plants are being fixed under the ground. Other parts, they can show the movement when they, whenever there is a wind, whenever there is a main rain and when the plant is growing from a baby plant to a big plant and when they will give fruits, when they will give vegetables. So these are the different types of movements which we can see but we cannot see the plant is moving from one place to another place. Let us discuss animals. Animals can freely move from one place to another, then fly, swim, run, walk and crawl. They move in search of food, water and shelter. So yes, animals can freely move from an, one place to another place. Few animals like they cannot, all the animals they cannot walk. Few animals are there who can fly. Few animals are there who can just swim. Few animals are there who can run. Few animals are there who can just walk. And few animals are there who can crawl. Okay, these are the different types of movements which we can see in the animals. Plants cannot move but animals can move from one place to another place with the help of different movements which they have. So why do they move? They move in search of food. Okay, by sitting in one side, we cannot, animals cannot get the food. Okay, so in search of food, they need to move from one place to another place. In search of shelter also, they need to move from one place to another place. Whole day, whole life, 
they just cannot sit in one place okay so for shelter as well as for food they need to move from one place to another place so these are the movements between plants and animals plants cannot move because their roots are attached under the ground and animals they need to move in the for searching for food as well as for shelter next is what food green plants make their own food they make it in their leaves with carbon dioxide water and sunlight so they need not move in search of food so yes whichever the green plants are there jitne bhi green plants hain they can make they can prepare their own food okay and they may make food in the leaves with the help of carbon dioxide water and sunlight so leaf is a main source jo patte hote hain wo patte unke khane ka source hai jisme wo log water carbon dioxide and sunlight ko store karte hain फिर वही पत्ते हर उनके पार्ट्स को वो खाना पहुंचाते हैं सो फॉर दैट दे डो नॉट नीड टू मूव फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर प्लेस बिकॉज दे देम सेल्फ बाई जो इन दन प्लेस ओनली दे कैन गेट द फूड बाई देम सेल्फ दे कैन प्रिपेयर द फूड बाई देम सेल्फ सो फॉर दैट दे डो नॉट नीड टू मूव फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर प्लेस सो वॉट आर द फूड आइटम्स विच दे नीड वॉटर carbon dioxide and sunlight these are the three food items which they need to grow next animals cannot make their own food they eat plants or other smaller animals they move for ready made food and water so animals cannot make their food animals cannot live by just sunlight or water or with the help of carbon dioxide they do need oxygen but they also need to eat food and that food they will get when they will move from one place to another place and that food which how we are preparing the food we are making the food hum jab khana banate hain hame gas chahiye hame kitne sare kitchen ka saman chahiye you know khana banane ke liye but animals ko wo sab saman nahi chahiye wo jaisa bhi ready made food unko milta hai jo bhi plant unko dikhta hai jo bhi animals wo logo ko dikhte hai wo aise hi wo animals and wo plants ko kachcha hi kha jate hain okay they will not prepare food on the gas stove or anything usme mirch masala bhi wo log nahi dalte बस जैसा वो लोगों को मिला वो वैसे ही खा जाते हैं सो फॉर दैट दे नीड टू मूव फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर प्लेस क्योंकि एक जगह पे अगर प्लांट को वो खा गए वो लोग वो प्लांट को खा लिए सो अगेन इन दैट प्लेस अगेन टुमारो दे के नॉट यू नो द प्लांट डेंसर्स के नॉट ग्रो सच अ बिगर इट नीड टाइम टू ग्रो सो द एनिमल के नॉट जस्ट सिट इन दैट वन प्लेस फॉर फॉर ईटिंग फूड अगेन दे विल लीव दैट प्लेस एंड दे विल मूव टू अनदर प्लेस टू ईट फूड एज वेल एज टू ईट यू नो टू get shelter so these are the foods which they will eat so non green plants molds and mushroom take food from decaying matter other non green plants which are non green plants jo green plants nahi hai like molds and mushrooms they will eat food from the decaying matter matlab jitne bhi niche zameen mein unke roots ke andar underground mein jitne bhi wo kuch bhi rehta hai usse hi wo log khana apna bana lete hain okay wohi khane ko wo log अपने स्टेम में अपने रूट्स में स्टोर कर लेते हैं एंड ओनली दे विल ईट एंड दैट विल हेल्प देम टू ग्रो सो लॉन्ग मूवमेंट्स व्हेन वी कम टू अगेन जस्ट रिकलेक्ट मूवमेंट्स इन द सेंस द प्लांट्स विल नॉट मूव फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर प्लेस बट एनिमल्स दे विल मूव फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर प्लेस इन सर्च ऑफ फूड एज वेल एज शर्टर कमिंग बैक टू फूड ग्रीन प्लांट्स कैन प्रिपेयर देर ओन फूड दे विल स्टोर द फूड्स इन द लीव्स एंड वट टाइप ऑफ फ्रूट फूड्स दे विल स्टोर लाइक दे विल स्टोर वॉटर carbon dioxide and sunlight and animals they cannot prepare their own food they will move from one place to another place in search of food animals they can eat another animals and even they will eat what plants okay children so these are the two topics which we have discussed about plants and animals the difference between plants and animals that is movement and food i want everyone to go through the lesson understand the understand the topic the like uh, watch the video so the time you will not understand and uh, just go through the reading part also read it so that you can improve your reading skills also okay i'll be back with a new video in our next session till then children goodbye and take care